Hello people, welcome to the video series where we learn Kotlin by solving hacker rank algorithms challenges. In the last episode, we solved compare the triplets. And now let's begin with a very big sum. Let's read the problem first. In this challenge, you require to calculate and print the sum of the elements in an array. Hmm, sounds familiar. I think we already did this in simple array sum. Keeping in mind that some of those integers may be quite large. So that is the trick. We previously we went through um, simple array sum and calculated the sum of all elements in an array. But this time, both the integers are really big and the number of integers are really big. So adding all of these together may cause integer overflow. What is integer overflow, you might say? Let's check it out. In computer programming, an integer overflow occurs when an arithmetic operation attempts to create a numeric value that is outside of the range. That means uh, integers uh, or other numeric values as well has some limitations, has some maximum and minimum values. and Let's say if you combine lots of integers together, if you add them into each other, then you might have, uh, then you might get a number which is very big that you cannot fit into an integer. And that's when an integer overflow happens. I want to show you an example of the integer overflow. Okay, let's say we have an integer A which has the following value, 1 billion and 1, I guess. In Kotlin, you can separate digits like this without affecting the value so that you can read and uh, the whole number becomes more human readable. Uh, and uh, maybe another one, B, which has the same value. And lastly, the value C, which has the same value, okay? These are quite big integers, but still they are lower than the maximum capacity of an integer so that you can store them in integers. To, to make sure that these are integers, you can also use explicit type annotations. Uh, and yeah, so they are all integers. And A plus B plus C should also be an integer because all of these numbers are integers. So adding them together should end up giving an integer as well. So let's say we uh, use another integer, d, okay, to calculate these, to calculate this operation. When you print the variable d, the result may surprise you because it is minus something. But what just happened, right? What is what is wrong with it? The the plus operator is broken. Uh, to to understand it better, if you do a plus b, you can see that it works correctly. Or if you do b plus c and run, you can. Again, see, it's working, but if you do A plus B plus C, then the result is calculated incorrectly. And that is because the, resulted, uh, the resulting integer, uh, 3 billion, 3, uh, is actually not an integer. What? Yes, because it is over the capacity of an integer. To understand this, uh, you can also try to assign this value in an integer variable and try to run it. And you will get now a problem, an error. The integer literal does not conform to the expected type int because this is over the capacity of an integer. But what is the maximum capacity of an integer? It is... Uh, 2 to the 32 minus 1, okay? And to be specific, you can also write integer max value uh, and find that this value is 
2 billion something. Okay, if you copy this here, you can see that this is the maximum number. Okay, you can you can store in an integer. Let's say after printing it, we add one. Okay, to this integer. Let's say uh, after that we print this. Let's see what happens. Uh, it's it's a well sorry we need to convert it into a var to change the value of it. But see now adding one to this number started all from uh, starting from the beginning starting from the integer mean value and this is the integer mean value okay uh you cannot you cannot set anything lower than that if you do you'll get another integer overflow and it'll jump to the maximum integer number i don't want to go uh, into more uh detail but you get the idea you cannot use values greater than int max value okay and int max value is this number 2 to the 32 minus 1 okay uh, so that is the reason uh, this problem on hacker rank uh, exists because they wanted to teach us that you cannot uh, store big integers uh, in regular integer class but how then how can we calculate this we can use long for example but if uh, because long has a very big capacity you can store those values uh, in, in a long and you can see that we need to return a long if they are bigger uh, than the long's max value then we need other tricks to do these kind of calculations but I won't go into that as well other than that other than uh, we other than the fact that we are working with longs nothing is different you can start by having a sum which is zero uh, i'm using longs this time so that i can work with uh work with the sum and you can use a for loop again and get all the numbers in this array and add all of these into this sum and after that you can return this sum this is the first solution right let's let's run and see if something is wrong yeah there is no problem it's, i think the uh, editor is faulty and this works okay and uh, you you might already remember where this is going right let's switch to intellij idea and uh, if we go and visit our earlier solutions for simple array sum you can see that this is pretty much the same except we are not working with integers but we are working with longs and so we need to use not zero but zero l as the sum the reason is if you write zero then it becomes an integer literal if you write zero l then it becomes a long integer if you write zero f uh, or like this it'll become a float if you do 0, 0.0 then it'll become double so these different types of numbers are all uh, included in the code academies uh, in the code academies learn kotlin tutorial so if you don't remember what's going on with all these different numbers i suggest you go back to those videos where i go over code academy uh, and you can remember what you will be missing cool uh, so we improved our solution using a for each loop as you remember and lastly we just called the sum method which is defined on integer arrays also the sum method defined on long arrays as well so uh, you can do the same so let's begin from here I'm going to copy this and paste it as a second solution let's call it two okay and now this this can use for each let me copy that as well copied and paste it here but now i need to use longs this is the second solution we can post 
And there is also a third solution. Uh, and that is, let me also bring some boilerplate. Yeah, now uh, you can just call ar.sum. Yes, it works. So now we can post this solution to hacker rank and see if we pass all of the test cases. See, like we are getting some um, warnings or errors, but actually we don't have any problems. This is why I switch to IntelliJ IDEA all the time. The editor is not as powerful as the IntelliJ IDEA. Cool, we passed all of these and that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed what you see. See you in the next one.